Hey, beautiful good afternoon to you. Um, this is yours truly, Mr. Panuka. And uh, today uh, we are here to give you an update on uh, how our sweet pepper portfolio is doing. Um, so we'll go around different, you know, greenhouses to just see how our sweet pepper is actually doing. So you can actually see uh, it's actually getting taller and taller. Um, these are the varieties that actually do grow uh, quite tall. Um, so let's get going and, uh, you know, check out some of these, uh, you know, greenhouses and see how they're doing. So this is an area view um, of uh, one of the greenhouses. This is GH10. Uh, let's just check out when it was transplanted. So that's 17th of uh, May, um, 2021. And uh, this is the outlook at present, looking very good. Um, so you can actually see they're already, you know, getting taller, these, uh, you know, plants, um, which is quite good. Um, so one thing that we're already observing uh, is this, uh, you know, magnesium uh, deficiency. Um, how do we know? If we get on our, you know, our nutritional chart uh, deficiency, uh, you can actually see, um, you know, there, uh, magnesium deficiency chart. Um, so, yeah, very critical. And that does manifest itself in different, you know, forms. That's also uh, magnesium uh, deficiency. Okay, so we are actually seeing that uh, becoming quite, um, you know, rampant now. So we have to take care of this, um, you know, some addition of uh, magnesium. The fruits are actually quite bigger now, very big actually, uh, 250 gram on average. And there is the thicket uh, developing. You can actually see quite a lot of fruits underneath there. So again, what you want to see is that uh, different, you know, clusters, um, you know, of sweet pepper, um here we have some ripe ones that are coming up just turning color and many more beauties of sweet pepper here coming up so this is one of our tried and tested you know varieties um duke remember you know some of our other you know um historical greenhouses where we showed you um how this variety performs look at this beauty uh, such a beauty of a okay so so far um doing quite well uh, we've actually been harvesting from here um so let's just get to the other greenhouses so that you also see how they're doing so let's check out this other one um transplanted again uh on the 17th um, of may also doing quite well just a bit of an area of view here So just like all greenhouses, uh, fully kitted with this uh, deficiency chart. Um, so let's get into the details. This greenhouse has some of the crazy, um, you know, fruits. Very humongous. Um, look at that. So look at such beauties.
away from uh, you know the greenhouses uh, we also have quite a number of uh, shed nets I think we provided an update uh, on uh, this you know shed net uh, you know uh, number three here so let's just get into it um, I think there's a separate video where we provided an update on this one so let's just get in so that uh, you see uh, what's going on here so this is uh, from the mega you know shed net um, I think there's a separate you know YouTube video we actually provided an update on so um, just uh, you know coming along here to see uh, what's happening so it's a sea uh, of sweet pepper um, across uh, you know here um, this is close to about 8,000 um, you know uh, fruits in here it's quite a massive um, you know structure um, and generally I think the pepper is actually doing quite well in here um, you know shedding it and um, you can actually see that uh, you know we are really uh, pushing um, the frontiers of sweet pepper production here at uh, you know Panuka farm this is actually bound to be our core, you know, one of the core crops um, besides English cucumber. Um, and this is where they actually say also, um, with a bit of, you know, specificity in what you do, um, you gain a bit of, um, you know, uh, specialization. And uh, you can actually see the fruits have already, you know, coming up here, uh, which is quite good. And so we are just in the process of, uh, you know, trellising um, this. Um, what we actually did is that uh, we've got these, you know, wires uh, at the top here where we anchor that. And there's actually another, you know, wire here where we anchor, you know, the, this other, you know, uh, this other set side. So, yeah, so far, good dividends from this investment in shed nets. Um, but obviously, uh, more superiority in the greenhouses. But yeah, like we have kept emphasizing in a number of our videos. Um, you can actually still do it um, in such an environment look at how this pepper looks like okay so yeah let's check out the other uh, you know shed nets uh, to just see how they're also doing so even the shed nets um, you know is actually producing quite some very lovely you know peppers um, I think we gave you an update on this uh, um, you know shed nets um, and it's actually doing quite very well the size of fruits is actually quite enviable um, look at the size of fruits that are you know coming up here uh, very lovely and you can actually see also the height of this crop um, quite very good um, and doing very well so far um, so a lot of these fruits coming up um, already And when you see that they're actually getting this duck, uh, you know that uh, they are just about to turn color uh, to red. So it's quite a number of them that are just about to turn. There you go. So shed nets doing very well and I'm loving the just a general outlook of this crop um, we just actually did a test um, quite a good thumbs up uh, in terms of just uh, you know plant nutrition um, so doing very well some more you know big um, fruits here so the shed nets are actually competing quite well with um, with the greenhouses so that's more of those that are turning and here just uh, keeping an eye uh, on uh, you know magnesium uh, deficiency uh, it's already beginning to show uh, a bit but something that will take care of um, you know again I think it's quite critical for you to identify uh, pest and uh, nutritional deficiency is quite early um, because the peppers are actually quite unforgiving if you delay uh, in uh, you know fixing the nutritional uh, you know aspect. So yeah, that's something that we have uh, you know under our microscope. So you can actually see that um, I think our sweet pepper production is uh, you know progressing quite well. Um, it's such you know lovely you know fruits that uh, you know coming up. 
and this one is already you know turning um, uh, color and generally you can actually see um, you know that the crop is doing very well uh, this is the shed net uh, we started from you know the greenhouses and um, you know all looks good uh, quite comparable greenhouses and the shed nets but of course um, once we get into um, you know, rain season, we get into cold season, uh, the superiority of the greenhouses will actually begin to uh, show. Yeah, so um, kind of loving this. Uh, just seen some very lovely, um, you know, fruits here. Doing very well. So yeah, so from uh, shed net number one, um, have a lovely one. I hope you appreciate, um, you know, the update. And uh, as they grow, you know, slightly older than this, we'll be able to update you. So from Mr. Panuka, have a lovely one, folks. Bye-bye.